So it's about coming in the life room, using the amazing resource of having the human figure to draw from. But I want to kind of make it, uh, make the room itself disappear, dissolve the walls of the life room in a way, so that we have, and this is what, where the, I use the projector, it's about people using the figure, being able to imagine it in their own personal narratives or in other kind of narratives. And lots of wonderful accidents happen, like the shadows and the colors. So again, that, when I'm working, that appeals to me, the kind of use, the, the fact that the room is suddenly flood, flooded with color. Um, and it also gets people to look at, kind of play with other works of art from the past and kind of imagine the figure, draw it, use it, but in a way that um, is more creative and more playful and more fun than just trying to accurately depict it. There's a place for that as well, but this class is more about um, why am I drawing the human figure and what, what's the purpose of it and does it say anything? So I guess that, and, and the projection is just a very lazy, easy way of kind of, without props or anything, totally changing everything. And then I say beautiful things happen, like the model gets, has the kind of landscape and everything projected on them, which breaks up the model. It makes it less tricky as a form and it, you can sort of use it in a more painterly way. Then you can kind of see, see it as patches of color and lines. It destroys all the kind of stuff that sometimes makes life drawing very intimidating. I suppose when I first started teaching here I, I, I really didn't use the figure much. It has crept into my work a bit more. Um, I tend to work outdoors in the landscape quite directly. The way the classes are quite different from the way I work myself. But actually doing the class has made me and looking at students work has taught me, has made me explore things that I wouldn't have done in my own work. When thinking and talking to students clarifies your own thoughts and sometimes makes you think, well, why haven't I tried that? Or why don't, how would I respond if I had to be taught this class? So it's pushed me in certain directions. And also I bring to this class the things that I like, which is not the life room, which is the stuff that's outside the life room that I want them to bring in, the stuff they remember, dream about, see on the street. That's the sort of kind of stuff I want them to bring in and combine it with a model so we're not just drawing, you know, a naked or clothed person, stranger that stands in front of us. We're kind of using them as a as part of our subject matter, bringing stuff from outside, being a personal, and the fact that what I, how it influences my work is actually, I kind of get quite a lot out of it myself, but I also kind of put in my own limited kind of obsessions, you know. And the figure in landscape has become, you know, something that's figured mm. in my work more. And I think it is partly this. It is, does make me, I think it has changed my work.